Hey there, Coach Tess here. Uh, today I'm coming at you. I want to talk to you a little bit about what health and life coaching is because I think, you know, coaching as a whole has kind of really erupted over the past few years. Um, and, you know, I didn't know what a coach was not really that long ago, even as a nurse. I, I wasn't too, um, you know, a few years back before I got into it, I, I wasn't positive about what coaches actually do. So I wanted to come and kind of clarify that today. Um, and so to start out, you know, we all know that lifestyle is the best medicine, right? It's the very best way that I can even describe coaching. It's about changing lifestyle, whether it be in your life or be in your health, um, you know, to, for someone to have transformation, they really must change something that they are doing every day. You know, whether that's in the area of your health, uh, your emotional well-being, your relationships, your career, your spiritual connection. And by the way, those are the five pieces to the holistic puzzle, the whole person, um, because everything touches everything. And so I just, you know, kind of wanted to break it down for you a little bit today. Um, taking life coaching and health coaching and kind of putting them in separate compartments just for the sake of describing them, but they are very much connected, okay? They always kind of flow into one another. Um, but with in the area of life coaching, I mean, this could be, you know, um, in relationships and career, you know, in breaking through fears and anxiety, um, you know, just work-life balance, maybe parenting, you know, there's a lot of life coach coaches out there who, um, you know, sort of specialize in specific things. So, you know, a lot of people say that it's kind of a fine line to therapy. Uh, the difference really is, you know, coaching could be quite therapeutic, yes, but uh, the difference is, is that the coach really ask questions to their client, you know, a series of questions to determine how a person sees themselves in the world um, and also how they see others in the world. And, you know, they're not so much analyzing like a therapist would do, you know, a therapist would analyze um, and also, you know, interpret answers that a person might have. So, you know, a good coach is really just asking the right questions and offering the right tools to um, help you move forward, you know, perhaps changing habits or changing beliefs or um, kind of moving through obstacles that are holding you back from your, your goals, whatever they are. So, you know, coaches are really giving someone the right tools to move forward and assisting them to take action, encouraging them to take action. Okay, and so they're doing it in a shorter period of time than, you know, going through therapy for maybe years um, due to a past trauma or something. So um, health coaching it is not much different in the way that it's approached. Coaches will, you know, ask their, their client questions to really um, kind of open up a menu of possibilities for them in, in the area of their health. You know, their... Um, and the connection again between health and life coaching is very, very close as you know, to reach optimal health and wellness, all areas of someone's life needs to be addressed, like I mentioned. So for example, if you're, you know, looking at someone's binge eating, right, they're likely have some sort of emotional health um, issues that, that are going to impact their success considerably. So, you know, health coaching isn't all about like getting a bunch of information, you know, health information or diet information, you know, um, it's about having the right curated information for an individual based on their specific needs for their body, for their past medical health, you know, for their situation, for their, you know, their environment, their families, all the things. So it's having curated information given to them. Um, you know, because someone can have all the information in the world at their fingertips. I mean, we, we've got Google, you know, you can type stuff in. It might not be <laughs> accurate depending on where, where you're going with it. But, um, you know, we've got all the information we need. But it's about it being pertinent to you. And it's about it, you know, um, giving the action to take, in re you know, in the response to all of that information. So, you know, everybody's different. 
and um, so you need to have different information perhaps for, for an individual. So I think, you know, that's kind of what we're missing in the healthcare paradigm is, you know, we kind of look at things in a container, you know, okay, this is how we're going to treat this disease. And if you're fitting into that container, that's the way you're being treated. And so, you know, it's, it's not always going to work because everybody, again, is different. We all have different bio-individuality, if you will. You know, our cellular um, structures are all different. Our bodies are just different. And so um, that's really the missing link in healthcare is looking at the whole person. And, you know, this may sound like a straightforward concept, but, you know, if someone has a, a chronic health issue, they may need to change their lifestyle by not smoking, eating a healthy diet, moving their body, managing stress. Um, but people are not always going to leave a doctor's office and do that. You know, and a lot of times they're handed a booklet. Okay, now you need to follow this diet for a healthy heart, right? So there's a 50-50 chance that somebody is going to leave that doctor's office and actually, you know, they may read it, they may even put it into action for a couple weeks, but they are likely to fall back into their comfort zone. Um, you know, there's an attempt to do the right thing, but nine times out of 10, you're going to end up at square one. So, you know, there is a reality with the time constraint to medical providers there, even if they have good intention of wanting to spend time and work with an individual, there isn't time. And there's also minimal follow up. And that's key. From, you know, from the time that we seek care, when people seek care with their medical providers and go home, um, you know, they may either implement change or not, but there's no follow-up to see if they have. So it's not necessarily lack of information and not even lack of communication. There may also be obstacles standing in their way. And so this is where coaching really comes in. And it's really kind of an art. Um, and the reason why coaching works is because for that reason, it's looking specifically at that per person, what is precisely happening in their life. Um, so, you know, how do you find the right coach? You know, it, it's really important for you to find a coach that probably has a specific um, problem that they solve, um, you know, close to a specific problem you probably don't want someone that just works with anybody, right? Because then they're not really focused on specific things. Um, you know, are they a coach that fixes everything under the sun? You kind of want to look at that. Uh, a good coach will likely work with a specific population or a specific problem or like a, in a specific kind of um, niche, if you will. So the second sign that you know, you may not be quite right for, for them or they're not right for you. Um, and by the way, a good coach will let you know if you are right for them or not. They may say, you know, I don't really feel like, you know, I could really help you and that we're really a good fit, but they will likely, a good coach will likely possibly recommend somebody else. Okay. Um, so it's a good thing when coaches have like that, a free, sometimes they'll call them uh, discovery calls or initial calls or, you know, meet and greet, um, or an application process or both an application to have a free discovery call with them is really good because then, you know, that means they're not working with just anybody you know, that's looking to hire a coach. So that's, those are all good things. So really quick, what kind of coach am I? I'm actually dually certified in both health and life coaching um, with 20 years experience as a nurse. I work with the body and mind connection using a holistic approach. I have um, functional nutrition background with a, a gut health specialty. And I also have um, embodied um, trauma uh, certification to help those with past traumas. So I really work a lot with the body mind connection. Um, and, you know, working 20 years in, in healthcare as a nurse, um, I've learned that you can't put health and wellness in a box, right? It's not separate from love, from money, from spirituality, from emotions, you know, it all is together, um, like a puzzle. And so that's really what holistic is. So, you know, um, even when we're talking about chronic illnesses, 
unless the root cause is addressed, you know, we're simply placing a cover on a pot of boiling water that's going to boil over, right? Instead of turning off the heat. Eventually it's gonna just keep boiling over if we leave the heat on. The root cause is taking it off the heat. So it's really about finding the root cause, root cause resolution. And that's really what, what I do. Um, so finding and investing in a coach that meets your needs can and should be life-changing. So if you're feeling stuck, um, if you're confused about where to start, I'd love to hear from you. You can either book a free call with me, um, follow me on Instagram, uh, leave a comment below with any questions. I'd love to hear from you. So thanks for joining me today. We'll talk soon.